Hello and welcome to Raid Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I mean, apart from the load shedding stage 6, apart from, you know, internet problems that I've been having, apart from personal problems, brothers driving my mom up the wall, apart from winter problems, it's cold, man, it is cold up in this winter. Apart from other stuff that we can't get into in this video, we are still alive and right now we have that electricity. So you know what? Let's make a video. And I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Tuli Pongolo finally responds to claims that she plays mixtapes at clubs. So Tuli Pongolo has finally reacted to the claims that she does not DJ during her sets. Now some people have accused her of playing some pre-mixes or mixtapes and have gone as far as saying that she doesn't know anything thing about DJ. So the DJ and actress took to her Instagram page to address the claim. She posted the following pictures and captioned them, my progress is more shocking than my slip ups. They're calling it mixtapes. Well thanks for the compliment. So yeah ladies and gentlemen that is Tuli Pongola's response to those uh, accusations that she's playing on my mixtape. She says it's a compliment. Now apart from those particular accusations of her playing pre-recorded mixtapes, Tuli Pongola's DJing skills also got dragged when she performed at the Big Brother Mzanti house. Now she got called out for apparently playing the full song whereas a DJ joins songs and has great transitions. Now I do remember that glorious night I was watching on that particular evening. She did play a lot of the songs i mean if you didn't know the songs like the whole entire song if you watch tuli pongolo set you would have gotten the gist of the whole song right from the beginning all the way towards you know the outro part of the song but yeah moving right along from that tuli pongolo also got dragged for her booking fee which includes what people deem outrageous rider requirements a user on social media posted the following picture of Tuli Pongolo and captioned it, To book Tuli Pongolo to perform at your event costs 20,000 Rand. Her rider includes two Moe Nectar Imperial, one Remy Martin VSOP, four Tonic Mixes, one Hubbly Bubbly, four Red Bull, four Stillwater. She also requires a security guard to be with her at all times and to escort her. I mean, do get in the comment section down below. Do you think that that particular price and requirements are a little bit too steep for Tuli Pongolo and her alleged pre-mixes? Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Makazi forgives King Monada after nasty fight. So musician Makazi won two major awards at this year's DSTV Mzanti Viewers Choice Awards. Now Makazi took home the accolades for Song of the Year as well as favorite music artists or group. Now Makazi's Ganama featuring Prince Benza won Song of the Year and she penned a letter of appreciation to both Prince Benza and King Monada. Now despite their differences, Makazi said that they all won the award even after removing King Monada's verse on the song. Makazi said the following, I'd like to thank all my fans who voted for me. I am speechless about this big achievement. All I see every day is love. Thank you for loving me. I scooped two awards yesterday. My hard work deserves this. Thank you, my people. She then went on to thank the two artists to my brothers, Prince Benza and King Munada. Thank you for being a part of Ganama Journey. It doesn't matter what happened. To me, we all won this award. Now, the drama surrounding Ganama is a very interesting one. Makazi and King Munada both went on to claim that it was merely a publicity stunt. However, Makazi backtracked from that and said it was not. So yeah, last year, July the 1st, Makazi posted the following. Tomorrow, we are dropping Ganama official audio. Makazi and King Munada featuring Prince Benza. I would like to inform everyone that me and Munada, we are fine. We did those live videos for publicity stunt and it really worked for our song to be known before the release. Now, if you do recall, at the time there was a war over the ownership of Ganama and in a Facebook rant, Makati said that Ganama's song is hers, my concept, my melodies featuring King Monada and Prince Benza on the beat. I did a song after recording Monada's song called Impossible. Our king must just drop his song called Impossible featuring Makati. Because we can't let greediness make us fight. How can you own a song without doing anything? Our king must do the right thing because I won't allow him 
him to own my work. No matter the love and respect I have towards him, King must just swallow his pride and give me credit for my work. Now after that, King Monada actually hit back at Makati. He actually went even further and did his own version of Kanama and featured a musician from Limpopo who sang Makati's verse. But yeah, like I said, it does seem that the two have smoked the peace pipe and all is good between them, seemingly anyways. Our next topic, Goko Maweni says that her house is full of snakes and owl and rabbits. So traditional healer and reality television star Goko Maweni has topped the Twitter trend list after her interview on Podcast and Chill with Mac G. Now the Sangoma got candid about her love life, the pets that she owns and her children. Now Goko Maweni admitted that she owns the weirdest and most bizarre animals. Now Goko Maweni said that my house is full of snakes, we have five snakes, one owl two rabbits and we have two tortoises and three beautiful dogs. Now she also went on to slam those that said that she practices witchcraft with the snakes. She said that people typically allege that snakes are used for dark magic or to accumulate wealth in African culture but Goko Maweni has cleared her name. She went on to say I don't use these animals for anything I love animals. Now she also went on to clarify the process of Uktwala saying that if Uktwala with something another person can't see it. So in essence what she is saying is that if a person is using a snake for witchcraft, you as the other person who's not using it would not be able to see it. Now apart from the animal and snake talks, Goko Maweni also said that she has a doctorate in traditional medicine. It's actually Dr. Maweni, I have a doctorate. It's like it's medicine. Hello. So again okay, it's seven years. No, no, no. But I know what is inside Panada via the roots, the core of it. I know rab rab in the kam riana o thing. Like Ubam Jam Jovu. Hello. I learned traditional medicine. I have a doctorate in traditional medicine. So which university is that from? It's Umsang Sangin. Umsla what? Umslab Sangin. Where is that? It's in Durban, KZN. Now, I actually went and Googled the Umslabu Sangin University, which is supposedly in Durban. Now, all I found was a song on Google. Now, I will say it might not re- yet be, you know, registered on that Google type of thing. But yeah, it's not just Goko Maweni, it's Dr. Goko Maweni. So Dr. Goko Maweni also opened up about her kids saying that she has three beautiful children, one of them with SK Koza and one of them is American. But focusing more on SK Koza, she did throw major shade at her baby daddy after Ghost Lady said that SK is one of the cute men in South Africa who don't look like they are from SA. Now Koko Maweni said that she will give her his number but she must be careful not to get pregnant because SK will allegedly not take care of her baby. Look, I will put up my hands and say I am not against people talking to other people, preferably professional people to work on some, you know, residual anger. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the news. Now, please do me a huge favor. If you did enjoy the video, share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.